have Dhawal Ajmera, who's the director of the company, joining in now. Thanks a lot, Dhawal, for joining in. Um, you know, FY23, we're looking at your sales value at around 834 odd crores, which is a mere doubling of uh, the numbers as compared to the previous year. What's your outlook on FY24 with regards to quarterly run rates? Uh, what's a sustainable number? You have a lot of launches planned as well. Yeah, hi. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think the coming quarter, this uh, firstly this quarter, this year had been you know one of our uh, you know, best sales numbers we could say we have clocked in. And uh, as a company, we continue to make this momentum uh, you know in the coming years as well. So coming uh, quarters uh, for the next year, we continue to see a sustainable growth from where we are to at least 20, 30 percent from where we are today. So definitely, we are looking at our growth path with a couple of launches, which has been already planned to about one odd million square feet, which is about totaling to top line about two odd thousand crores. So this is where we are looking in the next year as well. So this 2,000 crores you said is for what? For the full year? Sorry? Uh, this 2,000 crores figure you gave us is for the full year, Yeah, that's it? the top line of the, you know, a few projects which we are going to launch in the coming year, mm -hmm. which will be okay. over completed over the three, two to three years time. Okay, no, uh, my question was more for the full year of FY24. Uh, what is the expectation? I think uh, in FY23, you're sitting on a uh, base of around 830 crores or so. Uh, what's the expectation for FY24? So that's, that's, that's what I said, that over the next entire year, we are looking at a steady oh. growth in quarter to quarter with, uh, on an average, I would say 20 to 30 percent hike uh, is what we are targeting from where we are today. Okay. Uh, Dhawan, how much cash did you all generate in FY23? So, we had a healthy collection and if I have to look at the numbers, we were about up 35% from 394 crores versus uh, 532 crores. So, that was our collection over the last entire year. Okay. And what are you aiming for in FY24? Because you have indicated that you will look at a strong cash generation which will also help in terms of debt deleveraging. So give us a sense in terms of what you're anticipating in terms of cash collection in FY24. Where do debt levels stand currently and how much would you want to reduce it by? So uh, our uh, debts are divided into two parts. One is a group level debt, that is a corporate debt, and second is project level debts. While project level debts will be taken care from the project itself, so within the life cycle of the project that will get completed, Whereas the group level debt is what we are targeting, which is in the range of about five or hundred crores, which we want to cut down and bring it over to the next three years time, we will reduce it to almost zero. And uh, in terms of our collection, which is going to happen over the next uh, entire year, our target is to see around about 750 to 800 odd Right. Uh, just a couple of questions before we let you go, Dhawal. Uh, first is, what is the unsold inventory that you're sitting on currently? Uh, secondly, you know, what kind of realizations are you aiming for? What kind of demand are you witnessing? Because the fourth quarter obviously saw higher luxury sales because of that tax benefit angle as well, which uh, goes away from uh, this fiscal. So, you know, where are you seeing uh, you know, more demand? Is it uh, uh, luxury? Is it ultra luxury? Are you seeing some sort of problems in the entry level segment? And secondly, is the unsold inventory that you're sitting on? Uh, our unsold inventory, which is ready, is almost as negligible as zero, to be honest. Uh, so wherever there is a ready inventory, it's almost sold maybe one to five lakhs here and there. Uh, as far as our under, so we have under construction projects where we are, you know, it is a, the sales which are happening is happening on uh, those projects. But if it is ready, it is getting sold. Uh, primarily also our feeling is we have a mid-luxury project. So like our Manhattan project in Vadala, which is like a mid-luxury project where we are seeing good steady demand over the entire year. So if I have to look at, uh, you know, the sales happening in Manhattan, which has been a steady rise from where we have uh, started, we launched somewhere in the month of April and we sold around 40% of the entire inventory where we have to sell. So okay. uh, that's overall, that's where we see. So overall, when we have an under construction stock where, uh, you know, which is uh, steadily and constantly selling, but if it is ready, it is selling quickly. You had plans to get a strategic investor on board as well, right? Or a PE investor in the Vadala project. Uh, uh, has that seen any fruition? No, no, we are in talks, but we haven't yet closed them. 
Okay, and anything in this calendar year itself? Uh, planning to do uh, that in the coming uh, this calendar year itself. Okay, all right. We leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in and speaking to CNBC TV. Appreciate your thoughts. That's Ajmera Real.